yo, welcome back to the channel, Silver Cocaine Aristo. Um, thanks again for um, watching my other videos, subscribing to the channel. The first video I did on this car, the in-depth review, is almost at 10,000 views. Um, you know, just starting this thing, I, I didn't even think um, there was that much interest in these cars. But again, thanks for watching. Continue to watch, and I'm just going to continue to create more content around this platform and I hope you enjoy it. So today I'm going to discuss five things that the average person might not know about the Toyota Aristo 3.0 V. Uh, you might have enthusiasts that might know some of these things or um, you know enthusiasts around the Jay-Z platform but a lot of people generally might not know these things so I thought I'd share them with you today. Um, just give a little bit of Aristo education. So first on the list, when this car debuted 1991 in Japan, it was the fastest production performance sedan. Pretty much the Toyota Aristo held a spot for the fastest performance sedan in Japan from 1991 all the way up to 2008 when the ISF came out. Prior to that, it, it was pretty much faster than anything. Um, it was even the fastest Toyota, period, in 1991. Um, the fastest car being the Supra at the time, the 91 Supra, which had a 0 to 60 of 6.1 seconds. This had a 0 to 60 of 5.5 and a top speed of 170, um, you know, with the governor turned off, of course. And just to compare it to some of the performance sedans at the time, the Acura Legend or the Honda Legend, that did zero to 60 in 7.5 seconds. The 91 Glory of V30 Turbo, that's a Nissan, it did zero to 60 in 7.5 seconds. Nothing came close. This was even faster than the NSX at the time. Um, so pretty much it, it held the fastest title for years. ロケットスタートを決めたのはクロサーアリスト。その直後に中江コスモが入り、3台縦1列。しかし、シーマは随分後ろだ。どなたくインプレッションどころか人の心配まで the second thing a lot of people might not know about this car is that it debuted, meaning it was the first car to have the 2JZ uh, NA and turbo engines. So the mighty 2JZ first debuted in this car in 1991 um, after Toyota started building the JZ engine family, which debuted with the 1JZ in 1990. Uh, and that, that engine was built in collaboration with Yamaha. This engine was totally built by Toyota alone. Pretty much they just kind of copied the design of the 1J, uh, made it bigger, beefier, um, half more liter and more power. Uh, pretty much is a more dominant engine and they needed to make something that could compete with the RB26 DTT at the time, which was kind of killing everything on the racetrack, on the streets, everywhere. So these Jay-Z motors, they were developed in Japan's bubble era. Um, the bubble era was a period in the late, late 80s, early 90s, where uh, Japan's economy was just through the roof. It was, it was, where Japan's, Japan's economy was the best they've ever seen it. 
Um, hence, money was no object, and this engine wound up being overbuilt. They built the JZ engine to replace the long running M series and 1G series engine. By the way, um, the 1G is the first turbocharged production engine in Japan. The third thing a lot of people might not know about this car is that it actually had a lower drag coefficient than the A80 Super Turbo. So this car has a drag coefficient of 0.31 and the Super Turbo drag coefficient is 0.33. So it's a little bit more aerodynamic uh, and that's why this car is able to have a high top speed of 170. The aerodynamics on this car is very slick. As you can see, the low sloping hood, low roof line, and a high rear deck just all contributed into the low drag coefficient of this car. And now we're at number four. And a lot of people might not know that this car actually came with a V8 engine. Not only did it come with a V8, but it was also four wheel drive back in 1992. So yeah, this engine actually came paired with the 1UZ FE. Basically, that's the V8 from the Lexus LS400 or the Toyota Celsius. Not only was it paired with the V8, but it came four-wheel drive also. The name of the car was the Aristo 4.0 ZI4 or codename UZS143. It made about 260, 250 horsepower. Um, it was the highest end Aristo that you could get. It had air suspension, um, leather interior, LSD, you name it. It, it was just the highest end. Sunroof, um, all the bells and whistles. But of course, uh, the 2JZ wound up being the engine of choice in Japan and uh four liter four wheel drive never made its way to the united states so we never get the good shit anyway right the fifth thing a lot of people might not know about this car is that it has ultrasonic mirrors all right so i'm going to demonstrate the ultrasonic mirrors with some waterless wash see how it comes out So pretty much, it makes um, an ultrasonic vibration that kind of shakes the water down and, and lets it run down so that the driver could see a little bit more safely, um, etc. So it was pretty much just a safety feature, but a feature that we never got in the States. So there you have it. These are five things that I feel personally a lot of people might not know. So, like I said, I'm just getting the Aristo education out there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely going to be making more content with this car. Um, hopefully, I'll be getting to review some other cars as well. I hope you continue to watch. Make sure you like, share, and comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.
bad man. She love bad man. She love bad man. <laughs>